morning friends so we shall discuss another important chapter in the organic chemistry from the second bc what alcohols phenols and ethers see by the time you have understood halogens and halogens hydrocarbons also and even isomerism i have completed where structural isomers and even the stereo isomers are completed so with that knowledge i think it becomes easy to learn what alcohols phenols and uh, ethers so you all know oh is the functional group in both, both alcohols and phenols and uh, alkoxy alkanes this is the ether bond when carbon links to oxygen They are called alkoxy alkanes. So ether bond. So these three type of compounds. They are very popular. So methods of preparation, basically, where some reactions are involved and chemical properties. So I will try to cover the synopsis part in this class. So what are alcohols? When it comes to preparation, so what is important? Suppose. 
will bond hydrogen that is the CH2 
ಕಲ್ತಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಬಡ ಎಲ್ ಕಲ್ತದ್ದು ಆರ್ ಓ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಫೈ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿನಾಲ್ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ 
as such methods of preparation under phenol you had only this one it seems the chlorobenzene to phenol is that a tremendous condition you have to hydrolysis so physical properties are also there one of the things like uh, melting point and all so you have to note that for example phenol is a solid actually it boil melting point nearly 32 degree correct and is solid it's a solid at room temperature it melts into blue pale blue liquid sorry the pale uh, yellow or finally it totally becomes reddish brown because of benzophenol formation oxidation boils at 182 degree partially soluble in water due to oil bond hot water is soluble just in soluble at that and that solubility is same and then now if we come to the chemical properties of phenol phenol has chemical properties and then some important reactions are here so whatever i have discussed as earlier sodium metal yes sodium bicarbonate no na metal yes na oh sodium binet yes Na HCO3 no carboxylic acid what is yes. so it will not be at the salt as phenol remains as phenol with this sodium salt as ONA and the ONA to it will be so here uh, other things uh, esterification everything phenol can be treated equally with alcohols as such reactions of OH bond is concerned so what is it OH bond if you take uh,
what is the strongest acid? In other words, it's called inorganic acid. Now, nitric acid is the So, you don't need to think so anywhere about the three lines you have to See now let us continue with ethers. See ethers are wet molecules because of the even now they are looking to the bond angles. So this is log pair equation is more less than 190 degree. But this is lowest. Then this, the last is this. Uh, sorry, this is lowest. Okay. Because here bulky groups are there. This is more. This is one side hydrogen. So highest one side is this. So this is lowest. Then this is the highest. So this is lowest. Then this is the highest. So this is lowest. Then 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 this if R and R are same, symmetric ether, R and R dash are different, unsymmetrical ether. Methods of preparation. So, very familiar method is Williamson's ether synthesis. So, Williamson's ether synthesis, one of the most famous methods. It is used to synthesize ether. Now, what is Williamson ether synthesis? First, we should understand. Sodium alkoxide. How do you get sodium alkoxide? Alcohol should be treated with sodium metal. That is sodium alkoxide. And medium is in the alcohol. Because other component is halogen. Which is insoluble in water, at least for you. Try to understand. This is halogen. See, alkoxide and halogen. This is the example for SN2 reaction. It's not this. SN2 reaction of halogen. Okay? So, if you are thinking about SN2, Alkoxides are nucleophiles, aromines, and simultaneously they are from bases also. So that is going to carry out Williamson ether synthesis. Conditions we have to apply. I'll write the product and I'll tell you the condition. The adhesions are O R dash plus N X. So this is ether. Conditions are in the most important condition. Alkene must be primary because if halogen is secondary and tertiary, alkoxides also acts as a base. Elimination product that is alkene is also possible, which we have discussed under halogen beta elimination. Because this is also base. So that is why what is the condition for Williamson ether synthesis? Halogen must be primary. So suppose if you use secondary, you will get a mixed product. But suppose if you use tertiary, only alkene is the product. Only alkene is the product. That is why now someone is interested in preparing this ether. What to do? So there is a tertiary group here. You can definitely prepare this ether, but don't try to. This is R part and this must be R dash part. Try to bring it from alkoxide, no problem. If you want a tertiary ether, you have to produce it through alkoxide and not through halogen. Suppose if I have an example, 
I want this ether, okay? Let's say this CH3, C CH3, CH3, ONA, tertiary, sodium salt, tertiary butyl alcohol. Plus, here I am going to use the iodide. Best clearly is CI water, you can use the oil. So, I will get this product, no doubt. Because they are more harmful, 
There is nothing like hydrogen bonding and all. R O R hydrogen. C O C. Understand? That is why it is soluble in water. Lower members are partially soluble, but higher members are insoluble in water. So let us look into chemical properties. Alkyl groups, you can substitute by halogens, chlorine. They give mixtures of 
క్లోరోప్రాడ్ మోనో క్లోరోప్రాడ్ డైక్లోరోప్రాడ్ పాలి హలో పాలి హెలోజన్ పాలి హెలోజన్ కంపౌండ్ యూ అండ్ గ్రీ రెడికల్ క్లోరినేషన్ some of the electrophilic substitution reactions of anisole you can put nothing more than that i think only is very short part uh, not much is given at all either electrophilic substitution for example if i take anisole oh ch3 this is alpha pyridine right suppose we can do anisole is of electrophilic substitution concentrated hno3 h2so4 alpha pyr you can do free free cross alkylation rx you can do aluminum chloride catalyst no acylation rc double bond o cl these are called what free double cross reaction you can do bromination in acetic acid medium or huh? organic medium bromine in acetic acid so either you can solve it what what are the product here ato minor product para major product and no two so there are common here is what we must note in the general reaction so here yeah, i don't think it is required to write this is minor product para is major product here acid of phenolic acid catalyst C double bond O C H three O C H three. Pair with oxygen is equal to no. Sorry, atom with oxygen is equal to no. Plus pair with oxygen is equal to no. Here what do you get? You get bromine in the atom place. Atom bromine is on plus pair of bromo. Are you? Pair of bromo is on is major part because this group is a bulkier group. So steric you get. Why atom is minor is steric. Why para is major? There is it is theoretically clear. So these are some of the synopsis uh, part under ethers. So with this we shall conclude the synopsis part of alkyl phenol and ethers. We shall see in the next class problems.